Telstra really didn't have any other choice. Do you agree? That's true. Uh, they don't really have a choice other than to pretty much move towards the management change because I think the trust in management to actually execute a strategy is pretty low in the market. So at this point, this is pretty much to a certain extent tells me that um, they're pretty much playing a defensive game and hoping that we start to see value when you split these assets uh, separately. But the reality is it's still a business that needs to compete uh, against rising competition from a number of other players who have gone through consolidation in the last couple of years. And we've got an infrastructure player like NBN who doesn't really have a clarity as far as regulation is concerned. Um, Mathen, you basically you've called this a last ditch effort or a hail mary. I think were your exact words um, on this particular issue when it comes to uh, uh, what Telstra is doing. Is it going to work? I think that's what the really key question is. I mean, uh, yes, there are some dramatic, some radical changes, but it's clear that shareholders aren't overly impressed. Certainly with the initial announcement. No, because it doesn't really answer the big question as far as where is the earnings going to go, how they're going to compete against the competitors. Um, it doesn't really answer how the dividend is going to go because this is a pretty much a dividend yield stock uh, as far as the retail investor base is concerned. And there is a hole coming once the NBN payments run out. So the reality is the current situation almost certainly will push the investors into the view that dividends will be cut. So I expect the stock to see... Uh, a downgrade coming through from brokers over the next couple of days and probably trade lower. Well, yeah, there have been a lot of calls out there for the dividend to be lowered again. We know that Telstra has been uh, cutting the dividend over the last 12 months or so. Why, didn't, why do you think they didn't do that today? They've already released a fair amount of bad news. Why not uh, stick this into the announcement too? Uh, if the dividend is cut, uh, I will see a substantial step down in the share price. Um, I think they will save that up uh, for somewhere down the line when they do a big restructure again, because I think now Andy Penn's, um, I suppose, mantra will be about restructuring Telstra. He will be there till all the dirty work is done, and once that's done, and they will do a dividend cut, once that's done, they will get new management in, and that's when you want to be in Telstra. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.